filibuster. So fill the filibuster. Um, you know, with regard to the filibuster, I believe we should go back to a position of the filibuster that existed just when I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. Um, and that is that it used to be required for the filibuster, and I, I had a card on this. I was going to give you the statistics, but you probably know them. Uh, that it used to be that, uh, the, that well, from between 1917 and 1971, the filibuster existed. There were a total of 58 motions to break a filibuster that whole time. Last year alone, there were five times that many. So it's being abused in a gigantic way. And for example, it used to be you had to stand there and talk and talk and talk and talk until you collapsed. And guess what? People got tired of talking and tired of collapsing. The filibusters broke down and we were able to break the filibuster, get a quorum and vote. So I strongly support moving in that direction. In addition to having an open mind about dealing with certain things that are are just elemental to the functioning of our democracy, like the right to vote, like the basic right to vote. We've amended the filibuster in the past. But here's the deal. As you observed, I'm a fairly practical guy. I want to get things done. I want to get them done consistent with what we promised the American people. And in order to do that, in a 50-50 Senate, We've got to get to the place where I get 50 votes so that the Vice President of the United States can break the tie, or I get 51 votes without her. And so I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you — if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to — anyway. I'm, we're going to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, sorry. Oh, Sing Ming, Ms. Kim. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, to follow up on the filibuster, so do you believe it should take 60 votes to end a filibuster on legislation or 51? <laughs> if we could end it with 51, we would have no problem. You're going to have to, the existing rule, uh, it's going to be hard to get a parliamentary ruling that allows 50 votes to end the filibuster, the, the existence of a filibuster. Um, but, um, it's not my expertise in what the parliamentary rules and how to get there are, but our preoccupation with the filibuster is totally legitimate. But in the meantime, we got a lot we can do while we're talking about what we're going to do about the filibuster. Um, 